Hello folks, Pliskin by 51mm and today I am doing a preview on my new M14 M1A cleaning tool kit and I'm just going to run down what everything I received um, from Amazon ordering it. Um, it came with the cleaning rod which includes um, the bore brush here and the little part for patches you just run a patch through this and then run it down your barrel uh, let me show you how this would go together I'll just do one section I will not put the whole thing together uh, come on here there we go they just screwed together they have threaded ends back here like so and they just screwed together like that. Um, I'm not sure if I will be using this much, the cleaning rod, simply because I already have a boar snake, but I could see that this cleaning rod here would come in handy for in the field use. Um, I may end up buying more of these kits so I might have one for each of my backpacks um, but I could see a, a function that this would have um, that it would come in handy for would be removing a squib load you know I might have a factory round that doesn't go all the way through the barrel and it gets stuck halfway down and this could and this could um, help in removing the bullet from the barrel uh, just one of the things that one of the functions that it could serve but it came with all the sections and it came with the bore brush and the part for the patches so I got all of that next is the tool itself um, it has the wrench up here for uh, taking the gas plug off the end of the gas tube and it also has the little tool here now I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that the function of this here is to put this in the trigger guard and the hole behind the trigger guard and it would help you um, take the trigger group out to begin disassembling the rifle I'm not sure keep in mind that this is just a preview I am not 100% certain all the functions and different uh, things this tool can do also real quick I'd like to add that I sitting here playing with uh, the tool kit um, I measured it out fully extended uh, it measured out to be 26 and a half ish not really necessarily 26 and a half but it was close 26 and a half inch uh, inches long uh, fully extended with all the sections screwed together um, that is more than enough to make it all the way from uh, the end to end of the M1A barrel from the chamber to the flash hider that is uh, more than long enough because the M14 barrel is this full length one is 22 inches long and I also found that goofing around even more I pondered more on this little key here um, it can screw down on there like that and serve as a handle for your cleaning rod so if anybody was wondering well knew of that feature well I know of it now <laughs> um, I just had a lot of viewers recommend that I get one so I took their advice and got one uh, this has been used quite a bit. Uh, it has some surface rust right here. I'll put in a picture of the surface rust uh, in the video. Yeah, it has some minor surface rust there as you've seen in the picture. Um, but a little bit of oil would take care of that. I will be oiling all this up before I put it in the gun because 
it may have something on them like the ramrod and well not ramrod cleaning rod may have something on it somewhere that I'm not seeing that could you know put uh, some chemical or something or corrosion in my barrel uh, so just to be safe I will oil everything up and clean everything off just so I don't introduce no foreign uh, foreign substances into my rifle that might hurt it later on um, I might be being I might be being a little bit too cautious but you know when you get something like this uh, it's better to clean it off and make it all nice and oiled up before you put it in your gun also has some rust there uh, it has the wrench and I'm sure like I said there's probably other things this can do that I'm not aware of so I'll be looking up videos on how to use it properly and then one day I will do a video um, showcasing how it operates and how it works. Uh, next I have is a chamber brush. It's for cleaning out the inside of the chamber. It seems to be in good condition as well. Although some of the brass, br or not brass, copper brills down here, uh, they're kind of disorderly. As you can see there, and there's some up here on the sides that are kind of unorderly too. So that will come in handy. I will be using that because I'm pretty sure the chamber of my M1A looks like a brassy mess from where I've shot it so much. Although I don't know, I, I the bore snake that I run hits it quite often or every time I put it in so my chamber may not be as dirty as I'm thinking next is the pouch that the cleaning rod came in it all fits snugly inside this little olive drab pouch that it came with and then finally is a clear tube with two Phillips head screwdriver heads in there. Now, I am not certain what those are for, and to be honest, I didn't even know it came with this in the kit. When I opened it up, I was surprised to see that these were in there, and I scratched my head wondering what they would be for. Um, you can unscrew the caps with the screwdriver heads in them. See, it's like a bent flat, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, or no, flat head screwdriver. My bad. It's like a bent flat head screwdriver. I'm not sure what these are for, but if I had to guess, and keep in mind it is just a guess, but if I had to assume and guess, I imagine that these are for taking out the firing pin in the M1A. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like I said, um, I just now, I've had it for a day now. Just one day. Uh, got it in. Uh, the UPS guys, they left it out on the front porch. And they got it in, opened it up, took stock of everything, made sure I got everything that I was supposed to get with it. Everything is there, and then I put it in my gun cabinet, and now I'm up here doing a video previewing it for you guys. So, I'm going to have to learn how to use all this, but I thought I would make a video showing that I do indeed now have a cleaning kit for the M1A, and show you guys everything that it comes with. So, this appears to be everything that it does indeed come with the tool, the cleaning rod, the bore brush, chamber brush, and these little screwdriver heads, and the green pouch. So I don't know if this is military surplus, but by judging by the amount of wear that it has back here on the end, let's see if I can get it to focus. Judging by the amount of wear back here on the end, 
and the rust. I am assuming that it has been used quite heavily, but I don't know if it is surplus or not. Um, Amazon did not state whether it is surplus or isn't, and nobody in the comments down reviewing on this uh, page for this item stated if it was USGI or not. So I don't know if it is. I don't know if it isn't. Uh, all I know is is somebody before me had it and they used it quite extensively, but they kept it all in pretty good condition besides surface wear and things of that nature, but everything else seems to be in good working order. There's no physical deformities on this. I mean, there's some surface bumps and stuff, but no massive gouges or areas where it looks like somebody tried to hit it with a uh, handsaw trying to improve it. <laughs> or it had been dropped and busted. So everything looks good besides surface wear and I have confirmed by looking at pictures on Amazon uh, of customer uh, supplied pictures and stuff that was on the website that I did receive everything that was promised in the little kit here so I'm happy with that I figured I'd do this preview to all you guys to show you what you can get and what to make sure you do get um, I got everything that Amazon said it had so I would feel safe recommending somebody could uh, buy this off of Amazon or wherever else they sell these because everything looks to be in good order and I did receive like I said everything that I own now my next task is to just watch a few YouTube videos and learn what each part of this thing can do because I'm sure these holes down here might do something and it has a space here for a reason so I will go and watch videos on how to use this thing to its full potential and then one day when it is no longer 50 below zero outside I will go out in the garage and give this thing give my rifle a full cleaning uh, take the gas piston down and take that out and then I could do a complete dis disassembly video on the M1A uh, in regards to just taking the gas piston out. So this has been my preview of the M14 M1A cleaning kit. Hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Like, dislike. Check out my other videos if you have the chance. And I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you all for watching.